All right, what we're gonna work on is another connection drill. So what we're going to do when we talk about connection is that I'm going and I'm stretching right here. A lot of times our hands tend to get disconnected from our body or our hands come through and our shoulder never rotates. Then that causes us to push the barrel through and we can't gain as much snap. So what we wanna do is when we go in connection, as I'm rotating the shoulder and the shoulder's rotating out, see how the barrel of the back is connected to the shoulder. The hands are in front of the shoulder. Right when I get to about that lag and I'm ready to swing, I'm gonna snap that barrel through. So how you're gonna start this drill off is you're gonna take your hands and they're gonna be shoulder height and you're gonna put them right here at your shoulder, okay? It's going to actually touch your shoulder right here. And what you wanna focus on is staying connected as long as you possibly can. So when I go, I want you to go through slow first. So I'm gonna stretch the hips, stretch, stretch my shoulders turning out. Right as I get fully turned, you're gonna snap and hit that ball right there, okay? We're over exaggerating it just a little bit. We don't wanna get disconnected. We don't want us to drop. A lot of times what I see is when we get in here, my hands will go here and then I'll try to get my launch from that angle right there. We don't wanna do that. We wanna stay connected. And if this was the barrel, we're gonna stay connected and the barrel is just gonna come through this direction. So we're gonna stay till you get right here, then you're gonna snap it through. After you do it with the PVC pipe, same type of deal. You're gonna keep your hands in front, you're gonna keep it connected right here, and all I want you to do is rotate out with those shoulders, keep your hands high, don't let them stay low. Right here, you're gonna turn, shoulders are gonna turn. Once we get to bat lag, then you're gonna fire your hips through. Fire those hands through, fire the barrel through. All right, so this is working on connection. We don't wanna get disconnected. We don't wanna get away from our body. We don't wanna be handsy to where my hands are trying to do all the work and I'm not staying connected and rotating that backside. Remember also, every time we're doing a drill, we want to stay rear-legged. You want to, if I go, we wanna stretch and we wanna stay stacked right here. Hold, hold, stay connected. My shoulder is turning my hands in my barrel. Once I get to here, boom, now I'm gonna cut through right there. Stay connected, stay rear-legged. Remember, if you didn't have hands or you didn't have your elbow, your shoulders are gonna clear everything through. Before you make contact, if that ball's right there, before I make contact, my belly button's gonna be right there and I'm already gonna be opened up on that pitch right there, and then I can really snap that barrel through. Connection drill.